Yeah, we are gonna go on a great train adventure today. Okay? Now let's imagine that you're on a train. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go! Now sing along with me, okay? Chaga chaga choo choo train, chaga chaga choo choo train, rolling down all the way, anytime, anywhere. Let's all ride the train together. Have some fun, have some fun. Chaga chaga choo choo train, chaga chaga choo choo train, rolling down all the way, anytime, anywhere. Well done, that was an awesome job. Wasn't that fun? Yes! Now today we're going to draw a train that can move. Really? I can't wait! I know, I'm so excited too! But before we start, we're going to look at the blocks that you're going to be using. Now this is a green flag block which you use to start the program. This is one of the motion blocks which allows your character to move to the right. Now let's think about the background. Emily, where do you want your background to be? Hmm, how about at the park? Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, but Mrs Chan, does the train need train tracks? That's right, thank you for reminding me. So let's have the train as our character. So what colour is your train going to be? Now it's time to do it on your iPad. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Now let's get your iPad. Now you tap on the plus sign to create a new project. Now you tap on the landscape icon in the top of the screen and it will take you to the background library. Please choose park as your background and then tap on the paintbrush icon which is in the top right corner of the screen. Now tap on number one which will allow you to draw a line. And from number two, you can decide how thick you want your track to be. Now once you have finished, you can tap on the tick in the top right corner of the screen to go back to the main screen. Since you don't need a cat as your character, you're going to delete it. Tap the cat and hold until you see a dancing red X. And then tap the X to erase it. Now it's time to draw your own train. Yay! I'm so excited. Are you excited? Tap on the plus sign in the top left corner of the screen. Choose blank page at the top and then tap on the paintbrush icon in the top right corner of the screen. Now this is how I drew my train. You can tap on the arrow button on your right to drag the shapes to where you want it to be on the screen. To color an object, select the fill tool, choose a color and then tap the arrow you want to fill with the color. First, press number one, then number two, which is green flag block. Please drag the block down to the canvas area. You tap on number one to find all the motion blocks. Now, please drag number two, which will allow your character to move right. Now, please have a look at how many motion blocks I've used. Now this time I'm not going to add so many motion blocks, but instead I'm going to change the number in the little box. Tap the number and you'll see a keypad. Type in the number of steps that you want your character to move. Did you all have fun creating your own train? Now this time I would like you to use your imagination and create a different character and a different background. And now I'm going to share what I've created, okay? My story is about Jesus walking on water. Have you ever tried walking on water? It is impossible, but with Jesus, anything is possible. Do you know what he said to his disciples on the water? 
It's okay. I am here. Do not be afraid. So everyone, remember, he is with us all the time. Do not be afraid. Now it's time to look at my character move. I also added speech block. Why don't you all have a go at creating your own story? Now one very important thing that I need to tell you before I go is how to save your work. Now tap on the yellow shape in the top right corner and type the name of your project. Done everyone. Thumbs up.